Hey everybody, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. You know, he's an Ace Attorney, he's back with a brand new bag, bag full of what you might ask, a bag full of discarded kittens, but these aren't just any kittens, they're jazz kittens. They play jazz instruments like tenor saxophone, alto saxophone, all the other instruments, you know them, you know the ones. And, uh, but don't worry about the kittens because Phoenix Wright's gonna, gonna take them in. They're gonna live in his little high rise apartment in Attorney City, um, where he has drawers full, chock full of discarded Gary Oldmans and every now and then he just pops one of those drawers open cracks open one of those cold ones you hear a little tss, and then there's like three seconds of silence and then you hear you knocked up that that girl and you didn't even tell her that your baby m- might gonna be little and my name's Alex I'm Sean I'm Shanae welcome and... <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> did you just was that just off the cuff like <laughs> it was when I came up with it earlier. Oh, it sounded okay. better in my head than when I said it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it made me think of like the Aristocats uh, as you were talking about it. It made me think Jazz of cats. those um, those uh, blues people from WarioWare. Blues people from WarioWare. Yeah, they're oh, like Blues shit. Brothers, kind of like uh, I think it's a dog and a cat, but I could be wrong. Oh. I oh, the WarioWare characters I guess we're are gonna... great. Yeah, I guess we're going to play WarioWare again. Okay. Yes, please. <laughs> um. So yeah, we're back here in Phoenix, right? Uh, for the third turnabout. We saw that neat little intro. And uh, it's October 14th at 5.31 p.m. at Wright & Co. Law Offices. When we last left uh, Phoenix, right? He was uh, just gotten off the hook. He had just gotten off the hook for uh, murdering his boss... Um, and his underage, uh, his boss's underage sister was sort of kind of hitting on us, but also indicating that she was going to take care of us like an administ- administrator. And like, I don't think she's old enough for any of that. No, I do think we need Depends the help. Depends on though. what state you're in. <laughs> we do and need yes, help. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But it, it does say right in co-law offices, which means we've made that leap to uh, owning our own law office. Oh, look at you. You're next to die. <laughs> oh, put your name on this now law we office. Can stare out. We can stare out that window now. <laughs> we can look at our fake plant and our new lamp. <laughs> and our new Truly lamp. Truly cogniferous. Indeed. Oh, God. <laughs> that rocked. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Whoa, <laughs> stop waving that broom around. She's not holding a broom. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Is that a broom in your pocket or? <laughs> of course I'm here. <laughs> what was that surreal show you were just watching? What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? Whoa. Oh, dope. <laughs> That's cool as hell. He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Like, Neil Young? (laughs) Um, ten years old? What the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. Now we have an age. That's 17. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. (laughs) I do think we established that she was 17 in the past. Yeah, but it was was confirmed. confirmed, It's set in stone. Hey. Don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 2014 myself. <laughs> then watch it with me. He's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they want to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Wow, Phoenix is a boomer. Yeah, seriously. Gramps. No, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, this... Is th- Sorry, let me try again. Well, the steel samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. 
So does she wait until her TV show is over and then she leaves to yeah. do her work? Nope. <laughs> she waits until it's over and then she just goes home. Like, does, is she billing this time or? Of course. <laughs> I guess. Wish we had some clients. <laughs> Wish you did your job. <clears throat> I mean, you are but a she... lawyer who got yourself off, so. <laughs> I always get myself off. <laughs> uh, a month has passed since my trial yeah maybe we don't talk about that in front of the 17 year old <laughs> Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time but no one paid any attention to the Wright & Co. law offices how am I going to pay the rent this month am I going to have to sell my body sell the child, the child. I mean, that's a, a possibility <laughs> sell the child or maybe he'll have to uh, sell Take those cats that he has in his apartment. My jazz cats. cats. It's a lot of cats. His jazz no. cats. <laughs> He's going to have to sell some until the jazz cat band picks up. That's exactly. all I'm saying. Exactly. It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Huh. October 16th, 8.14 a.m. Phoenix Wright's Ooh. bedroom. Oh, wait, this is... Oh, my God. <laughs> wait, the beginning of a... <laughs> <laughs> the beginning of it was in like March, right? No, it was two days ago. It was, it was oh, yeah, I think October it was like 14th. October 14th or 15th. Oh, it was October. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? Uh, I left he slowly room. traveled to his bedroom over the course of six months. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it was like in March. Never mind. Ignore me. Because the Are phone calls that we were looking at in the last trial were like September, early September. We're gonna have to make a. It's still not March. We're gonna have to make a compilation of uh, all the times we got dates totally wrong. <laughs> It'll be a long one, along with the dot 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 compilation. Uh, hello, this is Phoenix. Nick. Maya, what? It's still early. Uh, it's Steel Samurai. The Steel Samurai got arrested. Huh? You mean the guy on that show? Yes! They're saying the Steel Samurai killed a, a villain. Dot, dot, dot. Um, isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV. Yeah, on TV. No, I mean, he actually did it in real life. He ske skewered a villain with a samurai spear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick? Beep! Does no one say goodbye anymore? No. Nope. So this is months later. Yeah. It was... Uh, one month after the whole trial. Eight months. Uh, I thought it was eight. I think it's eight months. God damn it. Are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> yeah, I am. You <laughs> son of a bitch. October 16th, 9.22 a.m. Right in company law. It's one year and one hour later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maya's here, watching television. It's gonna run a break. For the morning news. Oh wait, should this be Gumshoe? Yeah. Now for the morning news. <laughs> the actor Will no. Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays the lead role in the popular kid show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. Sorry, I cut you off. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I was gonna say he's he's all the question mark characters. Yeah. Yeah, I could do the TV in my normal voice, I guess. <laughs> he was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the <laughs> villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Look at that. Police believe this was the was the murder weapon and are investigating further. Do do news broadcasters usually get this much information about a murder? Uh, no. They don't usually say it like that. No. <laughs> I feel like it's usually pretty sparse uh, as far as the details of the murder go. I guess this would have a lot of appeal for the media, though, if it's, That's like, true. the actors, like, famous celebrities committing murder. Yeah. Which is kind of like how they, like, the O.J. Simpson trial was so big, you know? I wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, well, if the glove fits. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> this has to be a joke. No, no, no. It's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Bring, bring, bring me my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right in cola offices. 
dot dot dot. What? Nick! Uh, it's a steel samurai! Wh what? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll be right there. Beep! <laughs> Let's go, Nick! Go? <laughs> go where? They have the seal samurai down in detention. Was he bold in class? So yes, what? Yes, he was. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't sit still and do his homework. Naughty dishwasher. Oh my god. <laughs> so I've decided this will be our first case. <laughs> I'd like uh, to examine what you're hiding in your mouth. <laughs> Leave them alone, they're like, my nuts. Look out the window. <laughs> <laughs> do we need to look at any of this? The window. Like it's pertinent. It's a nice it's a day nice outside. Day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The hotel across the way is always full these days. The bellboy is going to be very popular. Yes. It's the, the room at the hotel <laughs> where the murder was committed by the woman who the guy, and there's the bellboy happily cleaning the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, Casper 3, Casper Revenge. <laughs> a poster of an old movie that Mia liked. I was thinking I should go see it myself. And then I realized that the poster doesn't actually say the title of the movie. <laughs> Pretty cool poster. There's a horrendous yeah. amount of legal books here. It would be nice if more movie posters did not have the title of the movie on them. Mm -hmm. Not not so that you wouldn't know what the movie was. Like, I understand the advertising aspect of it. But I do think that the artwork that's usually on movie posters is very interesting and could could be appreciated without the title of the film in it. Yeah, I agree. I'll fight on that hill with you. All right. Get your pitchforks. Oh, hell yeah. Scarier still is the thought that I have to read all of these now. <laughs> oh, God. Maybe I'll die next. I don't know what you're doing. Chirp, chirp. It reminds you of a... It reminds concert. me of when we went to a concert and we saw Bad Omens and they didn't have the title or anything on their album. Oh, and you yeah. were like, I like that. We did some real pretentious shit like leave our name off the album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good concert. It was. Mia's desk. Actually, it's my desk now. Your desk? No, no. Desk. It's my desk. <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> Sitting here always makes me feel like a professional. I like to mispronounce words so that the words don't think we're getting too chummy. <laughs> Mia's favorite potted plant. Well, if you use big fancy words, then you'll attract the attention of Miss April May. Oh, that's, that's true. what we all want, right? No, thank you. Maya's been watering it so much lately, it looks a little swollen. It's a fake plant. She's either trying to make it grow, or she's perfecting her water torture technique. Second one. Wow. Very interesting insight, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like... Oh. Uh... Yeah, she's still there. <laughs> Were you... I was just, like, looking behind her. Like, she, she yeah. hasn't moved. <laughs> Yay, we still have our badge. Like, we just Present picked her up on her shoulders and moved her to the side to look <laughs> yeah. at the poster Excuse me. on the wall. <laughs> like, her, her. <laughs> she's, like, not talking. She's... <laughs> Making angry, grumbly noise. What about this? <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> you like showing that off, don't you, Nick? You like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? <laughs> <laughs> My poor, poor ego. You like attorneys, don't you, Maya? <laughs> uh, okay. Well, what should we do? I feel sort of broken at this point because I feel like it's giving us a lot of options when this is the point in a story where they could just like take, take us directly there. to where we need to go and and start from there. But, <laughs> Especially because she just said, let's go to detention. And we yeah. didn't fight her on it. What if uh, schools had lawyers like other students could be your lawyer and then when you get put in detention, they could like try to fight for you to get out. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Your Honor, he's guilty. He didn't bring enough for the whole class. <laughs> what should we do? How can you just sit there like that? We have to go down to the detention center to meet the Steel Samurai. Well, the game designers wanted me to have a little freedom here. Does she no. want to investigate this case or just do some sightseeing, I wonder? My money's on sightseeing. sightseeing I don't have a lot of money. Center. I spent it all sightseeing. 
<laughs> we don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. No! We just don't have enough information! I mean, of course she doesn't. <laughs> She's not a lawyer. You're hiding so many cookies in here! <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it might be important to call out also. So, I know we've had a bunch of comments um, from a viewer who told us all about, like, courts in Japan and, and all that. Yeah. Especially, like, prior to some reforming that they did. And, uh... Japan's legal system sounds like a dystopia. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, so like it's all the very stuff, different. All the stuff that in the past 12 episodes that we called out as being like bullshit and very strange and, and wrong is apparently like fairly kind of true. Uh, so I guess that's just a correction on, a, on our side. <laughs> And I don't know um, why I just kind of had a lapse. Like I completely forgot, like that this game originated in Japan <laughs> for some reason. Just, yeah, like, went over my head. I did kind of. I was thinking that this game took place in America. Um, it's very American of us. Yeah, to assume yeah very. That it takes place in America, center of the world, baby. Yeah, Japan's a whole different place. Can somebody make us a map of what the world looks like with America at the center of it, and in the middle of America? We played a game, Land. Yes. Yeah, we're we're taking over the Louisiana Purchase. Mm. You can expect some serious reforms coming. Mm. Louisiana. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, look out. Look out. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Louisiana. <laughs> October 16th, detention center, visitor's room. Oh, my. Oh, God. That is Leomon from Digimon. Dot, dot, dot. I was thinking it was... um. What's his name? The guy who played Sabretooth in, in the original X-Men movies. <laughs> yeah, I was just I just had Hugh Jackman on my mind. So we were thinking <laughs> the same movies. I was thinking Lee Schreiber, I think, played Sabretooth. No, there was a different uh, actor for the original movies. I've never been to Schreiber before. I could leave if you want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> Footsteps. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, they're really loud in my mic. <laughs> What's wrong, Maya? It's him in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course, it's him. Will Powers, our client. That's him. I kind of think of a voice for him. Yep. Because I feel like I um, should voice him. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he definitely did it. A murder. At least once. Maybe twice. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you saying? Oh my god. Let's see. Do I go with what he <laughs> looks like? Go by I that flip face. The go by that face alone. Go with your gut. <clears throat> um. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Something wrong? No, no. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh no! Oh no! No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I get a when I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. I didn't want to wreck their dreams. I like that when he when he puts his hands up like that. He's got like a little. <laughs> What do you call that? Like a lace ascot. Yeah. A handkerchief. A big fat oh, handkerchief. Yeah. <laughs> it's the kids. I should have known. They called me Mr. Glass. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> what? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. She's got no consistency. No. She, like, she yeah, snaps right? to a judgment, but she'll flip on a dime. <laughs> yeah. He didn't do it. Did he do it? Da, da, da. No, he didn't do it. No. I'd like to you to take off your shirt. I want to see all that chess hair. <laughs> oh, God. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He seems frozen in awe of willpowers. 
I like that Phoenix is saying this out loud. <laughs> yeah, that's not the blue text. <laughs> and he's like, uh... He's not, okay. <laughs> he's not thinking it. He's like looking the guy straight in the face. <laughs> Smile for the camera. And everyone's he's like, an he's, he's really lost his mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been a month since the trial, but he's already gone. Uh, okay. I think that's it. That was it. Let's just talk. Me. <laughs> well, bye. He didn't do it. <laughs> uh, what happened? Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast had come down to the gl come down to Global Studios for a run through. We went through a few action sequences at ten that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for five in the afternoon. But when five came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Oh. Oof. That's a very clean hole. Yeah. Yeah. And that spot in his chest looks very... Looks like a very <laughs> clean edge. Anyway. <laughs> Boy, what a clean hole. <laughs> five out of five on Tinder. Clean hole. <laughs> they took off his mask. I don't know how Tinder works. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You get to rate people uh, based on their goals. Yeah. yeah, like five out of five had a dog. <laughs> and discovered that it was Jack Hammer. Dead. He had been expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Isn't that a sex move? Yes, it's a long spear that I... That the steel samurai uses as a weapon and also as a sex toy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. I know there's glass between us, but can you, like, show me? <laughs> Nick! How could you say such a thing? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right. Really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate until now. <laughs> oh no. I guess he did defeat him this time. Only if you fucking did it. Is this an admission of guilt? I think he did it now. I I see. Neo Old Tokyo. Who comes up with these names? That's the kids. A name, Nick. Come on, get your head out of your ass. <laughs> now, where were you on the day of the murder? I was murdering the man. Ha, got him. <laughs> well, that morning I came to the studio at nine o'clock. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5 o'clock, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for rehearsal. That's a very long nap. I like to nap. Are you judging me? <laughs> Maybe. You better not be judging me. <laughs> I killed a guy. <laughs> I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. Hey, what was that other thing? What? What was that last thing you said? Nothing. What? Oh, okay. Keep anything. going. Okay. <laughs> I do... I keep looking at this image, and it just looks like a rubber suit. It does look like... A rubber man suit just got punctured. It does. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. That might be like a prosthetic thing. Oh, maybe. Well, they said it was a suit. Oh, it was. It was. Yeah, he was in a suit. Uh, so, he was sleeping. Well, but is it like? Entire... A... <laughs> you can continue. Now I don't wanna. Okay. No, no I'm kidding. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, I think we're talking about like a like a chest chest prosthetic. Yeah, maybe. He yeah, you know how like Weird Al looks in UHF when he does the Rambo bit. Yeah. Kind of like that. I just didn't know if we were all on the same page or not. Yeah. Okay. So, he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. Some action hero. Oh, 
Wow. What will the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right. Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow! Dick, let's go! I'm willing to bet ten dollar -y dues. She asks for autographs. You're on. I don't think she's going to. Let's show him our badge so he knows we're a real lawyer. Um, here. Hey, I see. Dot, dot, dot. Let me guess. This guy wasn't the top student in improv class. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really judging. Was he going for improv there? I don't know. Kind of douchey. All right, let's go check out this studio. Phoenix's improv prompt was, uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, who needs glasses, Phoenix? <laughs> yes, and? Um, I was going to say something else, but I totally lost it now. Uh, October 16th, Global Studios, Main Gate. Wow, so this is where they make Steel Samurai Show? Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey, you there! <laughs> Good job getting in on old bag. <laughs> <laughs> you want in? You gotta go through me. Oh, this is the lady with the face. Yeah. Do you remember the face? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the uh, one. Oh, <laughs> sorry. We're, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure you that gawkers like you stay out. Oh, we're not from Gawker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> G Gawkers? Gawkers, sightseers, tourists. I know that type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Can we show her our, our attorney's badge? <laughs> you should. Youths today. Oh, Something poor. Oh, you passed it. Oh, You're my God. Doing... <laughs> I'm not doing Oh, my this. God. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, she's just going on a rant. That's what it is. I like that you blamed me for that. Her son oh. hasn't called in. Called in, she said. Wow. Who is her Couldn't son? Couldn't read that one. Uh, someone who doesn't care enough about her. <laughs> um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. <laughs> wow. Fuck if I know. Don't oh, mince words. I remembered what I was going to say earlier. Nick is two cases uh, deep, and uh, he's already feeling pretty cocky. Yeah. Ugh. Hey. Listen when you're being spoken to, youths today. These two youths. Couple of youths. Look at this. What's that? You giving that to me? <laughs> Absolutely not. What? <laughs> I said a little country for a second. I don't know why. Oh. Get your, oh, your gravekeeper fingers off of this. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Don't touch it, you'll leave stains. <laughs> Do we need to look at anything here? My Not pristine myself. badge. P probably, though, actually. Tainted by a witch. <laughs> the computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey, no touching. That's the face. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this here. So anyway, next time we play game. <laughs> <laughs> this is like gasping like a fish. <laughs> An overhead map of the studios. Where's the Tower of Terror? Right from here is the employee area. To the left are the actual film studios. Doesn't say that on, on the map. Spaghetto. Actual film studios. Yeah. They got their fake film studios and the actual ones. Looks like a bang bus van. Hell yeah. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. And the talent. And women. <laughs> the talent. We like to party. We like, we we like, like to bang. <laughs> the main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. They were like, uh, and they got all these marks on their faces, and I was like, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> the security guard station. That security lady must like junk food. There's a mountain of it on the desk in there. I can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Maybe she's just doing a sweet version of the chicken dippers. I figure it since she's that so since she's <laughs> so close to death already, she just doesn't care. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All 
Alright, I think we can't look at anything else. Oh, I never noticed there's a collision on the little menu box down here. What? I can't go through it oh. with the cursor. Wow, what a random detail. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if you could scroll down here over the back button and, and Phoenix is like, a back button? <laughs> Who knows? That My programming! <laughs> Breaking out of the game. He <laughs> starts becoming self-aware. And People turns into uh, Doki Turbo. Doki. Doki Doki, yeah. Uh, talk to her, I guess. Going turbo. Yeah. So, what do you do here at the studios? What is it you'd say yeah, really? you do here? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... <laughs> she was married or is married. No, you are a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Ten years ago? <laughs> Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was... Hammer? The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. She's, she's looking pretty evil right now. She does. Yeah. Corella vibes. Yeah. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly best material to work with. Maybe she did it. I just said that. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes, I did. I didn't hear you. <laughs> Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's Jeez. probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know that for certain, that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Uh, yeah. Security. <laughs> no, I get that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't have a full thought form, so I decided not to get into it. Alright. What kind of person was Jackhammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. I thought Jack Hammer was the bad guy. I think he will die yeah. on in many hearts. <laughs> <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. He was oh. simply dashing in this da Dynamite Samurai series. He's pretty da dashing. Should I have heard that? But there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing a villain on a children's program. Oh, I see. He was a hero in a previous series. Yeah, okay. then he... What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. Enough to make you cry. He was allergic I'd, to peanuts. I'd cry if they paid me. Oh. So they stabbed him with a giant EpiPen. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it killed him. I don't know, I don't know why but you said a giant EpiPen, and I was like, oh, someone stabbed him with a giant peanut. I don't know why that would be. <laughs> it was Mr. Peanut. Yeah. Oh, no. His cane is also made of peanuts. <gasps> uh, I knew it. Yeah. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday. I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five when they found the body. Now the studio is where the murder took place. It's to the left here. So if you want to go go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Okay, bye. <laughs> How many times I gotta teach you this lesson, old lady? Oh, God. <laughs> Only one person was there between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. Why is that time? And that person and that was per Mr. Powers? I'm just reading yours now too, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be young bag? Yeah. <laughs> old bag is uh, like... Uh, Agent Smith from The Matrix. She just keeps she keeps becoming all the other characters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so beautiful. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's the thing about me, Maya. Is there's so so many of me. Me, me, me. <laughs> 
Yes, I saw him. <laughs> Draw out the silence. But Mr. Power says he was sleeping in his dressing room. He should have been sleeping in his sleeping room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one who walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. I would never bet my biscuits. <laughs> Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? Wow, I don't like that. <laughs> my words, my accent for her or whatever is just not consistent. That's alright. She seems inconsistent. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Move along. Maybe she's going through a, a phase of dementia where like she's re reliving all of her past characters. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> um, she doesn't know who she is. She's um, just actually... <laughs> <laughs> We're here at Mr. Powers' request. Um, actually. <laughs> if you look here at the documentation that I brought along. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. It's the letter D! <laughs> Sorry. But she doesn't. Mm. She's poor. Mm. Show me a show me your deed. Prove that you uh, own this place. Uh okay, so let's go back to the detention center. Maybe we can ask Mr. Powers a little bit more. Hello. How was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right. Not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> <laughs> Sniff. Uh, I guess we're just talking to him, right? We don't have any new stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Bye. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? No, I'd never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's not possible. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. Help me to help you, help me to help you. <laughs> I'm new to this lawyer business. I need every advantage I can get. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but... I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. Mm. What did you see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Oh, I bet she probably see? saw the Steel Samurai suit. Oh, maybe yeah, it was him, you know? Yeah. I mean, they've got cameras, so maybe we could just check that. Yeah. If we can get past her. Yeah. It's not that um, hard, just push her. <laughs> yeah, she's old. <laughs> Just hit her with that, a thinker statue. She can't run after you. <laughs> hit her with the, the spear of Longinus. <laughs> about, the security, <laughs> a, about the security guard at the main gate at the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes. Actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let you... let up on you. She's got some nerve. You think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Of course. I don't have a whole lot going on these days. My cellmate Timmy wants, to, wants me to braid his hair. Nice. <laughs> Valuable skill. Powers' request added to the court record. Document pro proving Will Powers' request for an attorney. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. I mean, if he learns how to braid hair well enough, I mean, if the acting thing doesn't work out, he can still get a lot of business. True. That's true. Uh, All right, let's go. Let's go see security lady again. Tell her to shove it. I'm gonna present. Take a look at this. Ma'am, have a look at this shit. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Would you look at it? 
Huh. I want all of you to look at it. Yes, yes. I recognize the bold childish scrawl. It's Ariel Italic. <laughs> <laughs> Powers is request given to the security lady. That'd be no, Joe for Man probably, actually. I said, no, it's Comic Sans. Comic Sans, yeah. That would be better. Criminal. It's criminal. He deserves to be in jail. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's me. This huh. is you. To think he wouldn't trust his faith to youth since of such unreliable appearance. Really? 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 <laughs> <laughs> really? 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 <laughs> Hello, me. It's me again. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Anyway, you may pass. <laughs> you but only may left from here pass. towards the studios. <laughs> now go into the, the right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the employee area. No one allowed inside, pal. Where my instructions. Oh, shit. How? Is the here? Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. The good detective told me himself. Oh, it couldn't be him. She said good detective. <laughs> well, she, she doesn't know anything. Good. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Uh, like, comparing. Oh. Those are sift uh, Sifty. Sifty cents. Those are fifty cents a piece, thank you. Shifty. It's time to get sifty. <laughs> I'm gonna give you my shifty cent coins. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to go, Nick. Fifty cents! I don't oh my god, that that'll much. get that'll get you killed in Man of Madan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. A uh, guide map of Global Studios added to the court record. I was just thinking of where 50 cents came in, and there you go. Oh, uh, he was a rapper. Take it to the candy shop. The yeah, yeah, and he was like, it's really warm in here. Let's take <laughs> off everything that we're wearing. Yeah. That's Nelly, silly. Oh, damn. Oh, 50 it's Cent was all about the lollipops? Or no? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's the only song I know from him. It's the only song worth knowing. I guess so. Just kidding. Don't crucify me, <laughs> uh, 50 Cent fans. Uh, do you think there are any left? <laughs> Joke's on you, there aren't any. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't he uh, involved... Oh, don't crucify me, dozens of you. <laughs> was, wasn't he involved in the... F that was Ja Rule, right? Someone was involved in the Firefest thing? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Probably, I guess. Anyway. I didn't follow it that closely. Anyway, Firefest 2. Run by Bad Kerning. Electric Boogaloo. Oh, yeah, we could run our own Fire Fest. Not Bad Kerning. We played a game. We played a game, Fire Fest. Um, we had and a there won't be a ball pit. We had a festival. <laughs> there you go. W H A F? Well, half. And then we'll, uh, you know, we could just use that for everything. We had a book. We had a movie. We had something. Pogs else. get in for free. <laughs> Pogs play free. There you go. Uh, October 16th, Studio One Entrance. Is that like oh, why is monkey? that thing's head off? It has a oh. prehensile tail. I think it is a monkey. It also looks like it has hooves. It also looks like it has a large curly favorite. mustache. Hey! Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah! It's that confused detective! Hey, pal. You know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's your fault. That's okay. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. <laughs> Emo Edgeworth. Are you playing bird that. sounds? Or is that in the game? It's in the game. I guess that's the game. Why did it stop? Keep hearing bird noises. What the fuck? What is going on? Since I can't hear the game... It's popping up in here. See, see if they disappear. Yeah. It's, um, well, it's showing up in OBS. I so. can't hear it. Oh, okay. Um, so... Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Eh. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Um, detective? I think he hurt Aww. his feelings. Oh, no. Uh, I'm sorry. 
Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. <laughs> You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Here um, to kill another person, huh? Yep. <laughs> it's you. Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. She's just taking everyone's stuff. That's my endearing <laughs> character trait. <laughs> I love Gumshoe. I'd say he's a character, all right. Uh, do you want to talk to him next time we play a game? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's see what Gumshoe has to say next time. Hell yeah. All right. See you later, Gumshoe. Bye, Pogs. Thanks for watching. Thanks yeah, we're going to crack watching. down on this murder. Murder. I like this little jam.